left, right. Which ones are you? Which ones are you? Prepare destruction. We we not be the Como castigo hombre, tanto es muy bueno como castigo muy bueno. Y ni un género como otro no. Ah, sí, sí. Ah, sí, 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 Sis, are you familiar with the Bible? Okay, do you know about the history of Moses and so? Okay. We're going to explain you according to the Bible who you are. Understand? You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. It's very important that you notice. Give me the book of the first, first give me the run, we seven of verse six. We're gonna explain you the value of the Israelites according to the Bible. You think God loves everybody? You you learn at a Christian church, right? You ever wonder why we faster? Can you step back a little bit? You ever wonder why we faster, stronger, smarter than everybody on the face of the earth? Because God made us better than everyone. That's right. That's right. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God says that we, the Israelites, are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. So that means God's love one particular people. He picked, like for example, if you have a dress at home, right? You have a favorite dress at home in your closet, right? I have favorite shoes. Your daughter has something that's her favorite that she likes to wear. And she loves that. Is that is there something wrong with that? Is it wrong if God loves one particular people more than everybody else? You say that's wrong. And God said this, you know, you say you think that's wrong. Okay, give me the book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it up! You're going to find out why God punishes us. Imagine, like, okay, if your daughter did something wrong, right? If she was in school, if your daughter in the whole class did something wrong, would you punish your daughter or would you punish the whole class as well? The whole class? But do you have the power to do that? Okay, hold on. There's the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. That's okay, right. so the Most High is saying that he is in the midst of Israel, right? And he is the Lord your God, and none else. Just like you as the parent of that child. You are not, I mean, you are not the parent of the whole classroom, you understand? Okay. Give me, um, go back to Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. There's the book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 1, verse 1. So we're just going to give you a little filler first, and then we're going to point out some things that you need to keep, some laws that you need to keep, right? Because being an Israelite ain't just about being born and just, okay, I better than everybody else. You're still going to go to hell if you don't keep the commandments. You That's understand? Right. Okay, good. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So these be the words, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. 
You notice since you come here, all you hear into this Bible is Israel, 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 because God loves only Israel. So basically what happened, there was a, a deal being made, right? If I was giving the book of Deuteronomy 28, 28 and verse 15, there was a deal being made between the Most High God and the Israelites because we are special people unto Him. The deal was, if we kept the laws, He would set us high above all people. Like you read, like we read earlier in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. But we didn't keep the laws, oh, didn't keep the laws of God. Why? Because you know us as black people to be stubborn, right? We are hard-headed. We do what we want, right? Okay, good. So look what's going to happen. There's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it, it will come to pass, if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so sis, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? You are. No, no, don't, don't get afraid. Come on, come, okay, come on, come on. We're not going to put you on the mic. Just answer, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A vervloek. Is it, is it good or, or slecht? Good. A vervloek, a curse. Is it good or bad? Maldition. Maldition. The book of... of Okay, Malu, okay. Give me the book, give me uh, verse 16. These are some of the curses that the Most High did to us. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Sister, don't worry what's going on over there. What's going on right here is more important than anything that you're going to do in life. This, at this point in time, right, you figure out who you are. Every other time that you came here, you didn't see the Israelites here. You are finding out who you are. So you need to pay attention. It's important that she knows too. You understand? This is this has this going about your life. You understand? Okay, from there, give me verse 32. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Okay, you love that daughter? You love your daughter, right? Can you imagine? Can you imagine if someone took that daughter away from you? Read it again. Read, maybe, maybe she can get it. Read it with more power. Too. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So thy sons and thy daughters will be given unto another people. Who did that happen to in history? That happened to the Chinese man, the Arab man, the Turkish man. Did it happen to them? Yes or no? Okay, you're not sure. You're skeptical. Did it happen to us as black people in slavery, right? Okay, that's one of the curses because we broke God's laws. Give me verse uh, 33, I mean uh, 36. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 36. It says, don't run away. Okay, you know what? Before you go, before you go, we're gonna we're gonna pull out some laws that you broke that put us in this condition. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy 22, 5. Just one second, sis. One second. You're going to sin anyway. Sis, sis. One second, you're going to sin any look, you can walk down the road, right? And you can get hit by a car. That's you right. can die. See. You understand? Just pay attention. We give we giving you the laws of God to save your life. We're doing this because we love you. We don't come out here to waste time and scream. You think this is fun just scream, uh, screaming at people? We come out here to edify our people because we love you all. You understand? Okay, read. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay, sis, what do you have on that pertaineth to a man? You gotta say, Lord, what, what you say? What do you have on that pertaineth? Okay, I gotta say, what you have on is pants that pertaineth to a man. When you go to the restroom, right, in McDonald's or KFC, you look at the two logos on the, on the, on the um, window, right? You see, one of them has on a dress, and one of them has on a pants. Because, according to God, the Most High set it up that the sisters should wear dresses and the men should wear pants. What you have on is not righteous. You understand? You think God going to kill you for that? Because you have on what you have on? Give me Zephaniah uh, 1 and 18, I think it is. Yeah. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 18. We're going to find out what the judgment is. For, for dressing the way you're dressing. I know you're in a hurry, so we're just gonna read it and then we're gonna let you go. Because 
There's the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So the day of the Lord's sacrifice is judgment day. Sister, pay attention. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is judgment day. Read. That I will punish the princess and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So the Most High will punish. Sister, sister. The Most High will punish you for wearing strange apparel. Yeah, with the curly hair. You have one minute for God. Yeah, eight minutes, eight minutes. One minute. You look like an intelligent man, right? But you're doing one thing wrong. You defile your temple. Give me that in uh, first technos. Uh, first Titus 2 verse 6. What's your name? Bryson. Bryson, right. My name's Ashman. We are here waking up our people to who they are according to the Bible. What's your father's uh, What's your father's nationality? Dominicans. So you're from the tribe of Simeon. Do you see yourself on the sign here? Look at the sign here. Do you see yourself on the sign here? Okay. 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 You don't see yourself on the sign. Okay, we have Judah, which is American box. Benjamin, Lee, which is West Indian. Levi, which is the Haitians, Ephraim, which is the Puerto Ricans. We're going to skip down to Simeon. Simeon is the Dominicans. You are a Simeonite according to the Bible. You know what that means? It means you are Israelite. It means you are special according to God. God only loves one people. That's why he only punished one people for the wrongdoing. You understand? Give me, uh, you know what? Uh, give me Amos chapter 3 verse 2. We're going to show you how special we are, right? That God only chooses to punish us and not everybody else. There's the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So you only have I known. This is what God is saying to all these people and all these 12, uh, um, these 12 tribes here. This is what God is saying. You only have I known. Read. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So God says he's going to punish us for all our iniquities. What is the iniquities we committed? You came there with a giant in your hand just now, right? You were smoking, right? Okay. Brother, that is wrong. We're going to show you that according to the Bible. Give me Titus 2 and verse 6. There's the book of Titus chapter 2 verse 6. Yeah. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So exhort to be sober-minded. As young men, we must promote to be sober we must promote to be sober-minded, meaning we're not supposed to be drinking, we're not supposed to be smoking, getting drunk. You understand that? That's breaking God's laws. No, bro, hey, listen, don't run. We, you still got a lot more to go, right? You still got a lot more to edify you on. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Last one, last one. Let me let you go. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass... If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, so you see, sir, for that one little joint, for that small little law that you broke, this is what's going to happen. This is what happened to all people for that one law that you broke. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. Do you know that us as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to slavery do you know that's what is being read out of the bible right now god punished us for sinning for breaking his laws one of the sins you was doing just now was smoking what if i told you i can show you another sin another law that you're breaking right now we here listen bro we here to give you the laws because we love you first give me the video because 1917. Huh? listen bro very important okay listen bro okay give me one minute Give me one minute and I will show you all the wrong things you're doing, right? Give me one minute and I'll show you all the wrong things you're doing. Okay, good. Just hold up, hold up. There's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why? Because they are stubborn. Hey, you brother. Brother there, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the ganja. Could you hear Conway? You have one minute? Eight minutes. What come to that now? Because I from Gersa, okay, me too. My name is Ashman. Okay, my name, what's your name? Bayo, Bayo. Bayo, okay, Bayo. 
they're going to play a game, right? We're here waking up as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to who they are according to the Bible. We're going to come in there, English? Speak English? Okay, but some of them are going to be happy, man. Okay, boom. Look at this picture here. Which one of these two is God? No. What's that? No. Okay. Did you know that when we went in slavery, the slave master gave us this? The slave do. The slave master gave us this, and he told us this is Jesus. But God looks like you, you, you. He's a black man. You understand? Give me the book. Give me uh, verse 14. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. He does not have white woolly hair. But guess who does? He does. You have woolly hair. You have woolly hair. I do. You do. Even though you have the Rasta man here, you still have woolly hair, talk, right? You don't know. As white as snow. White as snow, really? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It doesn't mean that he was high. It doesn't mean that he was insane. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. There's the, there's the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Okay, baby. When you drink a lot of beer and, and wine and those stuff. Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes were not red like a flame of fire shooting beams like Cyclops from X-Men. You understand? His eyes were red because he liked to drink wine. He was not drunk, but he drank wine in moderation. You understand? Okay, read on down. First, Revelation chapter 1 verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass as if it burned in a furnace. Now, okay. If I look at your feet, right, and I look at your face, it's the same color, talk. The missing color, talk. Read. So John looked down at Christ's feet, and he, and he looked down at Christ's feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. So his feet, his face, his arms were all the same color. You understand? So there we have it. He has white, woolly hair, like me and you, and he's dark. Not just any brass. Read it again. Read it. Read uh, verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So with brass, right? It's already brown. It's already brown. But it's burned. It's a kima. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. Hey, you ever see a mom make a mistake and burn rice? Okay. But what color is the rice? It's black, right? So that's the color of Christ's hair. It's describing Christ's color in the Bible. Now, you might ask yourself, okay, what, what's important that Christ is black? Because God loves everybody, right? John 2, 16, right? Okay, go to the book of John uh, 3, verse 16. There's the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah, just one second, one second. For God so loved the world. Uh oh there we go. Close the Bible. Let's go. Everybody think that God loves everybody. Everybody think God so loved the world. He loved everybody, right? Give me Deuteronomy uh, 4 and verse... Give me 7 and 8. Let's find out who the love is. Let's find out who God loves. According to the Bible. When we finish, then you can go. When we finish, then you can go. There's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 8. Because the Lord loved you. The Lord loved you. You who? Give me Deuteronomy verse uh, 1 and 1. Because the Lord loved you. Who is the you he's talking about? Read. There's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So God loves Israel. Okay. From there jump to Isaiah 45 and verse 17. We're going to show you who the word is according to the Bible. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.